Hello, Glenda. Byrd Tirtumad on Olmenawi. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Mil Frichtemen that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendan. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual, to study the carvings and offerings there. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Very well. Understanding these transformations will surely be useful. Thank you, Desade. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. You were lucky, without our presence here. Yes, blessed be the earth that has brought you to us at this time. I... You one... I was touched. I am hurt. Oh no! Morian! These creatures are venomous. If their venom has come into contact with her blood, this young woman does not have long. And we are too far from the village to seek help. How are we going to save her? I know a potion that will erase the effects of the venom. I have a vial of it in my bag. Hold on. Thank you. Truly the best winds have brought you to us. Here, drink this. Don't worry. It'll heal you. You can trust her. She knows what she's doing. Morian, what do you feel? I... I feel the pain leaving me. She is saved. You have great wisdom. May the trees always bear fruits on your journey. You have saved Morian. It was nothing. I'm glad I could help you. You are different from other Renaixi. You know the potions. But what were you looking for here? We came to study this place, the carvings in particular. This is one of our places of ritual. A place of connection. What do you hope to learn from our carvings? I... 
I seek to understand the mechanisms of your transformations. I think these carvings could help with this. You seek the secrets of the Donegada. You should speak with Armal. Yes, his name is Duncas. He is also our Donegad, and his wisdom is boundless. Here is someone who should be able to answer all your questions, Afra. Let us go, then. We will have time to discuss on the way. I have so many questions about this place, about the rituals that take place here. Bertir to mad, Donkas. These Renaiks have saved my life. What happened? We were meditating at the sacred circle in Kerganau, and we were attacked. Morian was poisoned, and they gave her a potion. Really? We are not yet used to the Renaiks doing something without expecting something in return. You should go and meditate now. I have to talk to them. They are different from the others. Oh, I'm sure of it. I hear your gratitude, Morian. It honors you. Now go. Leave us. Here you are again, Renaixe. Thank you for saving Morian. It was a kind gesture. Please. We couldn't let her die without doing anything. This feeling brings you honor. But what were you doing near our sacred circle in Kerganau? It was me who led my friends there. I was hoping to study the Circle to better understand your culture. Loyans always want the same thing. They covet our secrets to better steal our land, to better hurt our children. Calm now. Perhaps this Loyaness is different from the others. Maybe we were wrong about them too. I'm not trying to conquer your island, let alone hurt anyone. I just want to know. A noble quest that could perhaps bring peace, but to which I cannot answer alone. I cannot reveal such secrets without seeking advice from the other Donegad. But in order to thank you for saving one of our daughters, stay with us tonight. Eat and celebrate life. Maybe by sharing this joyous moment, you will learn something. We accept your invitation. Isn't that right, Dasade? Of course. Thank you for welcoming us, Dunkus. I'm sorry. You look disappointed. I did not expect your Denegad to reveal all its secrets to us, but I would have loved to learn more. Perhaps you should be patient. It takes years to understand the mysteries of the Donegada, and since you are staying with us tonight, it will be an opportunity to continue learning. That's what I hope. Thank you for welcoming us tonight. We had a good time. Yes. It was very... enlightening. We are glad that you stayed with us. We too have learned from you. Your face brings with thoughts, Afra. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Probably just tiredness. We should all rest. It has been a long day. May your dreams be wonderful. Good night. May the moon watch over your dreams. Is something wrong? Dunkus wasn't here tonight, yet he's the one who invited us to stay. I also saw one of the elders sneaking out of the village. You think they're hiding something from us? I don't know, but since they don't want to share their knowledge with us, let's try to follow them. I don't like it one bit, Afra. If the Elders and Dunkas are gone, then we have no right to follow them. In that case, why don't you explain where the transformation comes from? It's... it's not something that can be explained that easily. You have to believe to understand. You are not capable. I see. So we will discreetly follow these people, since this is the price of knowing. Here. 
where they are. Let's try not to be detected. Why don't the creatures attack them? I don't know. Are they guarding this place? If they're trained to guard it, this must be a very important place. found them. Let's be as discreet as possible. They are below. Get down or we'll be seen. Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Approach, Why are you here? We're sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. We need answers, so we followed your elders. I never thought I would see you like this, hiding in the bushes, spying on your elders' daughter of Bladnit. I'm the one who brought her here. She didn't want to follow you. But she refused to tell me what I need to know. <sighs> well, since you absolutely want to learn, do as the apprentices do. Take a seat. And be quiet. We are here to meditate, to hear the voice of the earth. Because the wind has changed. Close to us, Arwichnis Diri. You were right. Yoan is ready. Morion's trial has made her more sensitive. She is his Minundanem, and he is hers. One cannot progress without the other. She will have to bring him to the Cave of Knowledge. This will be his last trial before creating the bond. May their path be gentle and shielded. As for me, I hear the call ever louder, Dunkas. And the day the call is loud enough, you will respond just like each of us. But it's not yet time for you to join Enon Milfrittenen. So, Afra, are you satisfied with what you saw? It was informative, although it's not what I expected. Thank you, Dunkus. This meeting was strange. It almost seemed like they really heard voices in the wind. Maybe it's true. Some believe so strongly that they end up hearing or seeing what they hope for. Have you learned what you wanted to? What they said about these young people we helped out, about the fact they were ready to bind themselves. We have a unique opportunity of seeing a transformation with our very own eyes. 
But we can't follow them wherever they go. No, of course not. I must think on it. Come back and talk to me later. Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? What did you think about that moment next to the campfire with the elders of the Gigador? It was strange, and a bit frustrating, to be honest. What about you? How did you feel? It was peculiar and mysterious. It was as if we were observing a game without fully knowing the rules. However, it seems to me that we learned a few things, being with them at that moment. This is true. In my opinion, knowledge should be shared. That's why I'm so impatient when it comes to secrets. But your attitude is wiser. I will ponder the question. You've given me a lot to think about. Anything else? Did you have any fellow students? Of course. We were but a small group working with Dr. Asili, but we were encouraged not to get too close to each other. It was more of a competition. Why? What's on your mind? I wondered if you didn't feel alone at times. Do you mean intimate relationships? I had a few here and there, but that did not change how lonely I felt. Body and mind have different needs, even though for some they seem to be one and the same. Anything else? I must leave you.
Oh, there you are, Your Excellency. The Enlightened has heard my prayers. What's going on? Where are the others? After deciphering the content of the tablets, they went north to continue their research in some swamps. Oh, but they must have encountered problems. Brother Fidelis came back here, and he was in a dreadful state. He most likely came to seek help, but he fainted. It's impossible for us to know what happened to them. I'm not a doctor, but I may be able to examine him. Oh, please do. Any help would be appreciated. We've done our best, but our magic has proved inefficient. And the healer we sent for will certainly arrive too late from San Mateus. This man is burning up with fever, and he bears several bite marks and traces of blows. The flesh is black and blue around the bites. He was bitten by a venomous creature. What he needs is an antidote. Have you tried giving him any antipoison? Of course, but to no avail. And what if it were a hex cast by the heretics? No matter what happens, you always suspect them. Why, of course. The savages are always to blame. The man was in the swamp. There are some rare animals there, and their venom is terrible. A healer from the area will know the antidote. We could ask Lair. He will direct us to someone who understands remedies. Manawi, you've come back to see old Lair. I heard that you managed to retrieve the tablets. Did Vindwal tell you? Yes. And divorced Tiren. My heart bleeds at the news of our brother's death. I was hoping that peace with the Renaitse was possible. I'm starting to think it is an illusion. Well. We will see what the winds bring us. I need your advice. You may already know that one of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. I heard about it. He has all the symptoms of a poisoning, but the anti-poisons we gave him had no effect. He must have been bitten by a creature of the swamp, and we're looking for a healer who would know of a suitable antidote. So, you came to see me. Interesting. Our neighbors did not think for one moment that we could be helpful. Alas, our Donegat is one of the exoils. But Vindwal knows plants well. She will know. Thank you. I will go see her. I hope she agrees to help us. I have to go. Like so many others. again. What do you want? I have come to ask for your help. Lair told me you know about remedies. I do know a few of them. I have learned about plants. I used to want to become a Donegad. One of the researchers came back wounded from the expedition. Apparently he was bitten by a creature of the swamp. And now he has the Lawolan fever. We have a good knowledge about this affliction. He will die 
if he does not receive proper treatment. Do you know which antidote should be given to him? My son died because of these people. They neglect us and treat us like children. Why should I give you my knowledge to save one of them? I'm sorry about what happened to Bran, and about the priest's behavior towards you. But are you really prepared to let a man die when you could save him? To perpetuate the cycle of vengeance? <sighs> no, no. You're right. I will explain to you how to create the antidote. Thank you, Vindwal. You are in Eden. You're safe. I... Well, was I unconscious for a long time? The, the other members of the expedition, they are in danger. The swamp is so hostile. We weren't prepared for it. S some of our people have disappeared. What caused these wounds? A nightmarish creature. The swamp is full of them. A colleague and I had left to fetch some help when we were attacked. I managed to run away, but I don't know what happened to him. As for those who were at the camp, you must go help them. Show me the location of your colleagues on the map. I will join them. There. Please, hurry. Thank you. You should rest now. <laughs> 